Hey everybody, it's Silverseeker, and in today's video, we are going to discuss how to store your American Silver Eagles. We'll look at a couple of ways that are good ways to store them, and we'll look at a few ways that are not so good. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, like I said, we are gonna be discussing how to properly store your Silver Eagle. So what I have in front of me, this is a tube of 2020 American Silver Eagles. It's a full tube, and if you look, you can see there's no room at the edge of the lip here to add another one, which means you know that it's a full tube. These are made to hold 20, and this is how the US Mint sends them. They send them in monster boxes that contain 500, in other words, 25 of these tubes, and each one of these tubes, uh, they're basically airtight. So if you're buying Silver Eagles in large quantities of 20 or more generally you just want to keep them inside this tube now what a lot of people do is they will actually tape down the edges to prevent oxygen from getting in the side of the tube now generally these tubes are airtight anyway so you're not going to get any oxygen in them and if you've ever tried to open one of these with your fingers you will know that there is very little room if any room at all to get down in there and actually get into the tube usually you have to use something with like a sharp edge like this thin screwdriver here to get under the uh, tube to get access and pull it open now if you look at the side of the lid here it has these teeth on it and these teeth as you can see are basically so when you put them in the tube it's just enough that they have to push the tube apart creating a pretty tight seal and it clips down like that and it basically creates a pretty airtight seal it keeps the lid very very close so that you can't even get a fingernail under there unless you really put some work into it and that keeps oxygen essentially from getting in the tube for the most part that being said i have stored a lot of silver eagles over time and i have noticed even with these tubes as much as they have been getting better over the years as far as keeping air out uh sometimes it's not perfect so again a lot of people will take like they'll take tape or something along the edges of this just to add like an extra layer of prevention uh, from keeping air getting in even if the tape is just used to keep this tight and down on top of your tube now not everyone is storing their silver eagles in full tubes maybe you just have a few uh, so another thing that you can do when you're storing your silver eagles and we'll go ahead and get one out here is you can get what's called plastic flips now these plastic flips are not airtight as you can see uh, if you look at them they have two pockets on either side and you basically put your silver eagle in like this and then you flip it over and that's why it's called a flip because you flip it over now the thing about these guys is you know once the silver eagles in there it you know basically opens up the pocket allowing air to get inside there so if you keep it closed like this it's not going to keep the oxygen out at all so uh, what you can do in that situation is I've seen people and you know this is up to you I've seen people tape these edges down if you just have a few and you want to keep oxygen from getting with them so you know you could do that another thing is is even if air is getting to them the air isn't going to cause them to tone right away it does take some time uh, if you're if you're not storing these for years or decades these flips are perfect um, if you're storing them for multiple years for very many long years and uh, for multiple decades these flips probably will have eventually allow enough oxygen in there to start to cause them to start the tone around you know the left side where the pocket is exposed now when you're storing these uh, not only do you want to pay attention to how much oxygen actually gets into them uh, you also want to make sure that it's you know no moist air gets in there so because moisture not only does it cause them to tone but it causes them to tone at not only a much higher rate but a much uglier tone like something that you really wouldn't want to see whereas some people do prefer tones um, what I recommend doing for that and if you uh, have a safe like a smaller safe um, what I do is I use these desiccant drying packs they're also called dry packs you can get them on Amazon uh, you can buy them on eBay and I use stuff like these uh, basically what these are made for is they have like a silica gel inside of them like the dry silica balls and it sucks the air the moisture out of the air so as moisture gets into your safe uh, especially if your safe is in like a basement or a garage where it's a little bit more moist than say upstairs in your bedroom uh, these are really good for pulling the extra moisture out of the air to keep it nice and dry inside of your safe so depending on the size of your safe you need you may need more than one of these you may need bigger ones uh, you can get them 
them to come in tubes or boxes uh, that have a predetermined size. You know, I like these because you can bend them a little bit. You can kind of stuff them in the tight spaces. Uh, so that's really good for pe keeping the moisture away from your silver eagles, which again, you want to keep the moisture away from them because the moisture not only is going to cause them to tone quicker, but it's going to cause them to tone uglier. Now, as far as these flips, you do want to make sure that when you buy these, you buy non-PVC. You do not want to buy PVC because the PVC flips contain chemicals that will eventually damage your silver um, by causing them again to tone. Even without the oxygen, you know, it could just cause it to do a very ugly artificial tone that you just would never want on any of your silver coins. So whenever you purchase flips like this, make sure you get non-PVC. Now, another thing you can do if you want to store some of them for a very, very long time um, and you don't want to worry about any oxygen getting in, they do make these airtight capsules. And the reason they're called airtight capsules is because when you close these down, no air is getting in. They're very tight. You, It is almost impossible to get these open even with your fingernail. Generally, I have to use like the edge of a blade, like a knife, uh, and kind of wiggle it in there to get it separated enough that I can get my finger in there and pull it apart. Um, so airtight capsules are a really good way to go. The only issue with airtight capsules is they are not cheap. Generally, for the actual airtight brand ones, which are the best ones, you can get them for around a dollar a piece, maybe a dollar ten. Whereas if you're going to get like the coin tains, which they come in packs of ten, they're a lot cheaper, but they're not near as good quality. Uh, you can usually get those for around fifty cents a piece. But even at that point, that's still pretty expensive uh, per coin. Um, so you know, it's really cool if you just want to store like a set of them like this, where you can just put you know each one of each date, and you can keep them in a box, and you don't have to worry about the air getting in and toning them. Uh, the airtight capsules are definitely something I would recommend. However, I wouldn't recommend going out and buying 20 airtight capsules for every tube of silver eagles you have. If you're going to store that many, you know, you may as well just keep them in the tubes and do like I said. Now, some people like to collect their silver eagles in sets, and so they'll collect them in albums like this. Uh, there's also Dance Co. albums. Now, I don't know much about specifically what's in this album. I will tell you that I feel like this isn't the best way to store them. And if you look at this album, this album comes from the Littleton Coin Company right there. It's their LCA 13, uh, and it's for Silver American Eagles. Uh, well, it says Silver Amer uh, American Silver Dollars. 1986 up through and it has no end date because you can actually add extra pages to these now there are different types of these there are harris ones there are dance co albums which are the ones that i recommend because the dance co albums are confirmed to have been like chemical free non-pvc plastic for the flips uh they're also very very tight so it keeps air as much air as possible from getting to your coins um and then of course there's these littleton branded ones now, the reason I recommend staying away from the Littleton branded ones is because of what's happening specifically in this album, and I'm sure others as well. Um, I happen to have this, and I had put some Silver Eagles in it a very, very long time ago. I mean, we're talking well before I was ever on YouTube. And I was looking at this, and I noticed, and we'll go ahead and open this and take a look. These are definitely toning, um, and they're toning so differently. So, okay, so I went ahead and zoomed in so you could see it a little bit closer. We're gonna start with the 86 in this American Silver Eagle book, again, from Littleton Coin Company. Uh, as you can see, this one definitely started the tone, and we'll go ahead and just slide the plastic off so you can see it a little bit closer here. Um, but you can see it definitely has some like purple and browns and blues around your Silver Eagle. Actually, personally, I think that's kind of a cool looking tone. I'm not super upset about the way that that's toning out, but either way, when you're not expecting them to do that and you don't know which way it's going to go, um, you know, I definitely don't recommend storing them in something like this. And then if you look at the 87 even, now this 87 is definitely more of a brown. So you have a little bit of purple at the top, but this is mostly like a brown yellowish tone. Uh, that's not something I really like. I really like having the colors. Uh, this one doesn't show a lot of color. It's basically just brown and dark brown uh, outside of what's in the top there. And then as you can see here on the 88, uh, it's basically hardly toned at all, just a little bit around the edges here. And the 89, now look at this thing. The 89 really has shown quite a bit of toning. Now this one has a deep blue and then a purple and then going into a yellow orange right there. And we'll turn on the LED so you can kind of see it. If I flip it in the light here, you see that color right there? I'm not upset about the way that this one toned out because that's actually really, really pretty. Uh, again, compare that to the 87 where the 87 is mostly outside of very top rim. Like I said, mostly just yellow and orange. Uh, but the 89 has a really nice rainbow look to it. 
But the point is, is when you're storing them in things like this and you aren't expecting them to be toning at all, you know, it's upsetting when you open them and you see them toned, especially if the toning isn't something you wanted or if it's a very ugly tone that's just going to ruin the value of your Silver Eagle, uh, especially a better date like the 86. Although, again, I do like the way the 86 looks. Um, but, you know, if you had like a 96, in fact, we do have a 96. So let's go ahead and flip the page here and take a look at our 96. Our 96 is actually doing okay. It does have a little bit of toning around the top here, um, but look at the 95. Ooh, wow, the 95 actually looks pretty pretty. <laughs> so again, it, it's it's really, it, it comes and goes as far as the tone, but the whole point of this is, is when you store them in albums like this, you do risk, you know, getting tones. Uh, sometimes they can look really cool like this 95 does. Uh, sometimes they can look really bad like the 87 does in my opinion. So uh, storing them in albums like this, if you want them to stay nice, bright, and white, uh, definitely not recommended. I, I guess it really depends on what you're wanting to do with your Silver Eagles. If you want them to tone up like this, then I guess putting them in here but you know the point of this is is with these albums i mean specifically there's obviously uh you know oxygen getting into the sides of these pockets here that the album is holding these in as well as you know there might even be some chemicals inside the plastic um, maybe this is even a pc a pvc uh slide right here we don't know so in fact this uh this book right here so this is an old book actually it goes to 1997. So this book is actually from the 90s. So it doesn't even have minages for the 98 or the 99. Uh, the reason I thought it went to 03 is because there was pockets all the way up through 03. But uh, this book was probably produced in 1997, given that they don't have minages for the 98 and the 99 just yet. So 97, it could have been minted in 98. But either way, or produced in 98, I should say. Either way, it's a very old album. It's been uh, holding these Silver Eagles for a long time. And as you can see, again, what they have done over the uh, decades, you know, toning like this, storing, storing them in albums like this for a very long period of time just isn't really the best way to do it unless you really just want to take the chance and see if you get, you know, something like this 89 here, which I'll be honest, that is actually pretty cool. I really like that. In fact, to be honest with you, the only one I don't like is the 87 uh, that I've really seen so far. Uh, so, I mean, it comes and goes. All right, well, here we go. Look at the 94. We'll take a look at this 94. It has like that brown spot there. So to wrap it up, guys, like I said, uh, keeping them in the tubes, if you're buying tubes of 20, definitely the best way. Maybe tape down the edges a little bit just to make sure that they are stored nice and well. Uh, you can also get the flips for shorter term storage. Make sure they're non-PVC. Uh, you can get the air tights. Uh, you know, I just don't recommend buying a whole ton of air tights for a whole lot of Silver Eagles. If you're just buying a few at a time and you want to throw them in, in an air tight or if you want to put a set together with each one in an air tight, uh, highly recommend it. You can also get the coin tains, which I don't have here, uh, but the coin tains uh, do a decent job. They're just not as high quality and I don't believe as airtight or as strong as the airtight brand and of course like I said you know the American Silver Eagle folders like the Dance Co um, is a really good option again I don't really recommend the Littleton but you know that's not to say that the Dance Co's aren't going to give you any trouble they definitely probably will I just recommend uh, the Dance Co's over to Littleton if that were my option uh, other than that guys you know make sure in your safe you keep some dry packs to keep the moisture away from your coins uh, this is suck the moisture up leaving your safe nice and dry get a couple of them look at the size of your safe determine how many you think you need there are charts online that tell you about how much of the dry packs you'll need based on how much uh, room there is in your safe but you know anyway guys get some dry packs uh, for your safes and uh, you know determine how you really want to keep them how long you're going to store them but I recommend uh, Silver Eagle tubes first and foremost if you have 20 just put them in the tube and one last thing I want to say guys you notice I wear gloves when I touch these and there's a good reason for that I highly recommend wearing gloves um, if you're if you touch these with your fingers and your finger oils get on them it will cause them to not just tone but milk spot right where you touched it uh, it won't be a pretty tone at all it will be very very ugly and usually you can even see your fingerprint on them after enough time that enough oxygen got to them that they tone up so always wear gloves when you're handling them just just to keep your oils off of them. You, you don't want to put your finger oils or your, your sweat or anything on these because it will cause a lot of issues in the future. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a little bit. If you did like this video, do me a favor. Make sure you like and subscribe before you go. We look forward to seeing you in future ones. And again, thank you so much for watching. Hey, thank you so much for watching and I do hope that you enjoyed the video. Now really quick before you go, over here I do want to give a huge shout out to all of my channel members. Thank you so much for your support of the channel. It means the world to me. Uh, guys, we also have some videos up here you can check out. If you haven't done so yet, click on those. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please don't forget to subscribe before you go.